bam back bow with another video we're going to be talking about a stock that i will be buying heavy regardless of what it does because this stock has earnings tomorrow this is also the number one position i hold so it's going to be big after market today they have earnings so smash the like button subscribe if you are new thank you guys for enjoying the video watching the videos get the video over 150 likes if you guys want to know tomorrow what i bought where i bought and etc just smash that like button that's all you got to do so the stock i'm talking about is yes tesla ticker symbol tsla this stock is gonna have a massive move tomorrow off of news either up or down now looking at the past earnings of other companies like j and j's microsoft usually they've been gapping down and then returning back higher so that could sense the same thing with tesla but again we'll never know for sure now tesla was actually at a key level today as you can tell it's kind of reversing today maybe anticipation of the earnings you see that big reversal to the upside i was thinking about getting like call options to the swing side i mean the upside and etc but we have a big earnings earnings so whether earnings is good or bad i'm gonna let you guys know what i'm looking out for so if earnings is bad we're gonna have a, a gap down so say it closes around 142 143 or 141 it's gonna gap down probably gonna gap down in the low 130s then that would be actually good for me because I still have a buying level at about 132. So that gap down will actually bring it to a level where I'm looking for a big swing call option play, call options, and also I'll be buying heavy shares at that 132 area. So that gap down is actually going to be beneficial. And of course, I can get Tesla shares at a cheaper price. But if earnings comes good, all that, the earnings call, et cetera, maybe Tesla will gap up to maybe around the 150s or so. I think they're expecting, I think they're expecting like an 8 to 10% move or so. So that would probably take us to like 153 or so on the upside to 154 and then the downside maybe to around in the 130s area depending i probably have that percentage off some but that's the expected move off of when the earnings come so those are your targets on the upside or downside now if we get that big pump up right we get that big push up i'll let you guys know what i was looking for on the downside but say it gaps up first make sure you use this code 10 now it is your new 10 percent off code anything on the website that's where you get everything i buy and sell today we did a microsoft put option this was a scalp i see you guys a month strike price i paid where i'm looking to exit what type of play it is i sold half of those put options for a 10 percent gain i sold 25 percent of those put options for an 18 percent gain then i sold the last 25 percent for a zero percent gain because it started to reverse you want to have risk management when you're looking to play stuff again not, not financial advice letting you guys know what i'm doing but beautiful scalp only took us about four or so minutes to get that scalp in but when you join the team you get everything i buy and sell but when you use that code 10 now, you'll get 10% off your monthlies, 10% off your first year. You actually get two months free when you sign up for the year as well. Use that code 10 now. You get 10% off everything on the website your first month or your first year. We have Elite and VIP available, so make sure you pick which one fits you. All the descriptions are listed below, okay? But don't forget to use that code. This code will end on my birthday. February 7th is my birthday, and that's when this code will end. And then prices are going up as well. So make sure you use that code. Now, for the upside. If Tesla gaps up, I have to wait. The number one thing I'll be looking for on Tesla if it gaps up is a continuation play to the upside, which will be a scalp option play I'll be looking out for. Something like this, right? Of course, there's key areas that I target when it's pulling down. There's key areas I target when it's going up. That's also something I teach you guys when you join the team. I teach you guys how I trade, teach you guys the skills. But I'll be looking for a continuation play if it gaps up. Now, if it gaps up, it could also reverse down. And on that downward movement, say it gaps up high, right? Let's go over here. Say it gaps up high here, right? And it starts pulling down. What you want to be looking out for is a boom, a reversal back to the upside, okay? Yes, I could potentially trade uh, like scalps to the downside, but I really want an upside type of play. And especially if it starts pulling down, I'll probably be buying shares on that pull down as well. So that's just a couple scenarios I'm looking at for potential scalps. Also, I think it is going to have a big movement. It's going to have a big gap up or a gap down. So you want to be mindful of that. But if it has that gap down, I think that would be the best because one, it'll be at a big buying level. I want to buy heavy shares, swing call options and scalp options at. It'll just be better if it gaps down. But we'll see how it moves tomorrow. The stock I'm looking to buy heavy tomorrow, regardless of if it gaps up or down. So make sure you guys watch that. Smash the like button, subscribe. This is Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA. Don't forget that code 109, 10 now, I mean. That ends on my birthday, February 7th. And follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. Please make sure you're following the right one. I have 1,675 followers. There are fake ones going around. So this is my only one right here. I'm showing you, okay? Do not get scammed. 
And always remember, none of this is a recommendation of ours. So anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.